Yo, what's up YouTube, it's Ilya, and today I'm going to be bringing you a high round strategy guide on the map Kino de Torton. So to get right into it, there's going to be two doors you want to keep closed for these strategies, and the first one's this gate in the alleyway. Now this is going to be where you're doing your early round strategy, but for your high round strategy, you're going to want to keep this door closed in the M8 room. So now moving on to the setup. So what you're going to need in order to run this strategy is the Thunder Gun, the VMP of Deadwire, Monkey Bombs, and you can also have the Elkar of Turns. Or you could switch it for something like a Weevil with turned, as this is just a temporary weapon while you're running your early round strategy. So, either all works. There's going to be two ways in which you can run this early round strategy, and I'm going to be showing you the first on screen now. So the first area is going to be where you're standing around this double tap perk machine. This is because this is the fastest spot in order to run this area. And at the same time, it's going to be a bit more risky, so you need a lot of T-Gun ammo in order to do this. Therefore, I only recommend doing this in the earlier rounds, so like let's say rounds 1 to 64-ish. But if you do start running low on ammo before then, feel free to switch to the other early round strategy I'm about to show you. And also too, let's say you're on like round 70 doing the other strategy, and you have to pop an alchemical. When you've popped your alchemical, just come over here just to speed up the game a little bit more. So as you might have noticed as well, at the start of this round I turned on the fire trap. So make sure whenever that fire trap's ready, even if you have to force your way in there with the T-Gun, unless it's like near the end of the round or something, you might as well wait until the next round. But make sure to keep turning on that fire trap to help speed this up even more. So now I'm going to show you the other way of how to run the early round strategy. And you're going to start running this once ammo becomes a problem at double tap. So all you're pretty much going to be doing is just training in front of this gate with dead wire and turns. Now here, instead of using the Thunder Gun to actually kill the zombies, I mean maybe you can in like the 70s and 80s, but 90s and onwards, you probably just want to only use the Thunder Gun to save your life. Therefore, how long you stay here is just entirely dependent upon how good you are at surviving here. So let's say you start relying on your Thunder Gun a bit too much in the 80s, maybe 90s, feel free just to open the gate and move on to the high round strategy. But at the same time, if you're managing your ammo well into the 110s, 120s, maybe even 130s, just feel free to stay here for as long as you can because it's going to save you so much time in the long run. Alright, now on to the high round strategy. This is going to take place in the M8 room and as long as you keep the door leading towards the stage closed, you can actually turn this trap into an AFK trap which is really nice. So in the meantime, whilst you're waiting for the trap to recharge, you want to be shooting your dead wire unturned. However, you only want to be shooting it in certain spots that are safe to do so. So for example, once you get around to this one barrier on its own down there, as long as there's no zombies coming out of that barrier, that's going to be a safe spot to shoot turns. And then once you come out from that barrier, as I'm about to do so now, and get to this spot, there's going to be no zombies behind you here, so you want to shoot dead while you're there. And if you need a turn zombie, feel free to shoot turn there as well. And you can also shoot turn down at this window too, so either one of them two shooting spots, it's safe to do so. And if you haven't already noticed, every time I get towards the door that leads to the alleyway, I always pull out my thunder gun. And this is just because it's the most risky spot in the whole room, so every time you get to that doorway, be sure to have your thunder gun out, just in case there's not a gap for you to go through. Now once the trap's ready, the best way to hit the trap is to hit the M8 side switch, and then slide through to the AFK spot. Now if you hit the other switch that's next to the gumball machine, Chances are you're going to bring zombies around to the AFK spot and you might have to waste a T-Gun shot. So if you can, just try and hit the M8 trap switch and slide through the trap. You don't have to worry about taking trap damage, as for like 3 seconds after you turn the trap on it doesn't do any damage. So although the visual effects there for it to do damage, it won't do damage for a couple seconds. And also once you're behind the trap you can either put your controller down, have a drink, or if you want to speed up your game that much more, if you wall bang the floor right where I'm doing now, you're going to get dead wire on the zombies coming up the stairs. You can actually get quite a few kills. As you can see there, i got four kills. You could also try and shoot your turn zombie down there. However, you're probably going to waste a lot of VMP ammo and it's just not worth it, in my opinion. While on the subject of VMP ammo, I'm going to show you how to do an ammo run. So what you're going to need to do is get a full horde, if you don't get a full horde, this is basically going to be suicide heading down them stairs. So make sure you have a full horde, and then as you're about to approach the doorway, check to make sure that the stairs are safe. If it is, just run and buy your ammo. Then you're going to have to get the horde up again. It should only take two or three cutbacks. It shouldn't take long. 
And once you've got left, just run straight up the stairs. You can shoot your dead wire and turned on the way. And then just get back to the strategy. If running dead wire and turns a little bit too much for you whilst waiting for the trap to recharge, you could always just run dead wire only and then swap mule kick for double tap. And even if that's a bit too hard for you, you could always just dead wire in one spot per lap around the room, opposed to dead wire in two spots a lap around the room. So instead of using dead wire at that window there, use it in front of the door that you have closed. This is going to be the safest way to run the room. But I think dead wire in twice per lap really isn't too bad. Another thing that's really nice about running double tap as well is when you're behind the trap, wall banging the floor to get the dead wire to activate on the spawn beneath you is actually super easy. All you need to do is like one burst the floor and dead wire will activate. And I think that's everything. I'm probably just going to let the rest of this lap play out until I hit the trap. But that's going to be it from me. So if this video helped you out, be sure to leave a like. If you're new, subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.